three, in class we were studying about expressionism, and with expressionism came symbolism. So with our pieces, we had three main items, as you can say, that linked to our symbolism effect. So the first thing we have is the chess piece that you'll see. The, um, we use it as the glass menagerie. So it's over there. We decided to use the chess piece because Laura tries to have her own reality with the glass menagerie. And when you come to chess, and when sorry, when it comes to chess, um, the pieces move in very direct directions, and there's a certain limit that you can move them. And as well as with the chess set in, in, in particular, um, only one opponent can move each chess piece at a time. And it's kind of like she's in her own little reality. So it's like she's trying to control her own world when she can't in particularly control her real world. Um, our second piece was the portrait. So in the play, the father abandoned them, but they kept the portrait of him because they're trying to still be a family in a sense of way. And since the play is loosely based on the playwright um, author, Tennessee Williams, we decided to use his picture. And our third part was the broken um, clock in the back. It's just used as a background prop. The family is quite broken, and they try to hide it in a way. And if you see the clock, it's really pretty, but it's broken. So it's kind of like symbolism for that they're trying to hold their family together, and they're trying to seem as if they're together, but in reality they're not because they're faced with so many different problems. So. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Moping, doping, because you're in no condition. No, I'm in no condition. 
definition. What right have you got to jeopardize your job? Jeopardize? Jeopardize the security of us all? How do you think we're Listen, gonna... you think I'm crazy about the warehouse? You think I'm in love with the continental shoemakers? You think I want to spend 55 years of my life down in that Celtex interior with fluorescent tubes? Look, I'd rather somebody pick up a crowbar and batter around my brain than go back there. The day I go, listening to you say that damn, rise and shine, rise and shine, and I say to myself, how lucky dead people are. <laughs> but I go, I get up. For $65 a month, I give up everything of being a dream ever. And you say self. Self's all I ever think of? Why, listen, mother, if self is what I thought of, I'd be where he is. Gone. As far as the system of transportation can reach. Don't grab at me, mother. Where are you going? I'm going to. Ah! Don't believe that lie. Yes, mother. I'm going to opium dens. Yes, opium dens of vice and criminals. Hangouts, mother. I've joined the Hogan gang. I'm a hired assassin. <laughs> I carry a toy gun in the violin case. I'm on a string of cattle across the valley. They call me Killer. Killer Wingfield. I go to gambling casinos. I spend fortune to the roulette table. I wear a patch over one eye, a false moustache. And on rare occasions, little green whiskers. On those nights, they call me El Diablo. <laughs> oh, I could tell you things to make you sleepless. My enemies plan to dine at this place. They're going to blow us all sky high. And I'll be glad. Happy. And so will you. You on your roof, they're going to a blue mountain with your 17 gentlemen callers. You battling old witch.
in Christ's name what am I supposed to do? Oh, God! Have you gone out of your senses? Yes, I have. That's true. Driven out. What is the matter with you, you big, big idiots? I have no thing. No, no single no thing no that Stop I can that call shouting. my own. Yesterday, you confiscated my books. You had the nerve to. You took that horrible book back to the library, yes. That hideous book by that insane Mr. Lawrence. I cannot control the output of diseased minds or people who cater for them, but I will not allow such filth brought into my house. No, 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 no! House? House? Who pays rent on it? Who makes a slave to himself? Don't you dare to! No, I mustn't say things. Let, I just let me tell you. I won't hear more. You will hear more. No, I won't. I'm going you out. You come right back here, Tom. No, no. You will listen. And no more insolence from you. I'm at the end of my patience. What do you think I'm at? Aren't I supposed to have a little patience to reach the end of, Mother? I know, I know it is unimportant to you what I want, what I want to do, to have a little difference between them. Don't you think that? I think you've been doing things that you're ashamed of. That's why you act like this. I don't believe you go every night to the movies. Nobody in their right mind goes to the movies as often. Well, I do. No, people do not go to the movies at nearly midnight, and movies don't let out at 2 a.m. <laughs> Come in and stumble, muttering to yourself like a maniac. You get three hours of sleep, and then you go to work. Oh, I can picture the way you're doing down there, moping and doping, because you're in no condition. No, I'm in no condition. What have you got to jeopardize your job? Hmm? Jeopardize the security of us all? How did you even manage if you were gone? Listen. You think I'm in love with the warehouse? You think I want to spend 65 years down in that cellar tent's interior? Listen! I'd rather someone picked up a crowbar and batted out my brains than go back mornings, but I go. Every time you come in yelling that, God damn, rise and shine, rise and shine, rise and shine, I think to myself how lucky dead people are. But I get up. I go. $65 a month, I give up all that I ever dream of doing and ever being. And you say self? Self's all I ever think of? If self's all I ever thought of, I'd be where he is. Gone. As far as the system of transportation reaches. No, no. No! Don't grab at me. Where are you going? I'm going to the moon. I don't believe that lie. I'm going to opium dens. Dens of vice and criminal hangouts, mother. I've joined the Hogan gang. I'm a hired assassin. I run a string of cat houses in the valley. They call me Killer. Killer Winfield. I'm leading a double life, a simple, honest warehouse worker by day, but by night, a dynamic czar of the underworld. I spin away fortunes on the roulette table. I wear a patch over one eye and a fake mustache, and sometimes, Sometimes, I wear green whiskers. On these, these occasions, they call me El Diablo. Well, I can tell you things that make you sleepless, Mother. My enemies plan to dynamite this place. They're gonna blow us all sky high! And I'll be happy, very glad, and so will you! You'll go up over Blue Mountain with your 17 gentlemen callers, you disgusting, babbling, old witch!
recreate this American classic. So we have a few seconds of flashing lights um, in this place, so if anyone's sensitive, you're welcome to step outside. Okay, um, I'm just going to take this time to quickly explain the symbolism behind my piece. Um, so what's up with the outside of our chairs? Um, so Tom Wingfield, um, his mother is very overbearing and controlling and um, she flips his whole world upside down. She doesn't allow him to leave, she doesn't allow him to make his dreams come true. Kind of sucks. Um, and then <laughs> Tom tries to fix everything. He's the man of the house. He tries to fix what is broken. Or well, Amanda, who is living in the past, she um, fixes things her own way. Doesn't really work out, but uh, yeah. And then Laura, Tom's sister, is as delicate and valuable, valuable as her precious gloss menagerie. And yeah, enjoy the show. Thank you guys.
ducky, dead people are. But I get up and I go for $65 a month. I give up all that I dream of doing and being ever. And you say self? Self's all I think of? Well, if self's all I thought of, I'd be where he is. Go. As far as the system of transportation can take me. Don't grab at me, mother. Where are you going? I'm going to the movies. I don't believe that, no. You know what? I'm going to opium dens. Yes, opium dens. Dens of bass and criminals. Mother, I have joined the Hogan Gang. I'm a hired assassin. I carry a Tommy gun in a violin case, and I run a string of cat houses in the valley. They call me Killer Killer Wingfield. I'm leading a double life, a simple, honest warehouse worker by day, but by night, a dynamic star of the underworld. I go to gambling casinos. I spin away fortunes on the roulette table. I wear a patch over one eye and a false mustache. Sometimes I wear green whiskers, and on those occasions they call me. They call me El Diablo. Oh, I can tell you things that can make you sleepless. My enemies plan to dynamite this place. They're gonna blow us all sky high one night. And I'll be happy, very glad. And so will you. You'll go up, up over Blue Mountain with seventeen gentlemen comers. You ugly old babbling witch!
Do you think I'm crazy about the warehouse? Do you think I'm in love with the Continental Shoemakers? Do you think I want to spend 55 years down in that Celotex interior with fluorescent tubes? Look, I would rather someone pick up a crowbar and batter out my brains than go back mornings. Every time you come and yelling that goddamn rise and shine, rise and shine, I just think to myself how lucky dead people are. But I get up. I go for $65 a month. I give up all that I dream of doing and ever being. And you say self? Self is all I think of, mother? Well, if self was what I thought of, I would be where father is, gone, as far as the system of transportation reached. Don't grab it, me, mother! Where are you going? I am going to the movies. I don't believe that lie. No. And you're right, mother. I'm going to opium dens. Yes, opium dens, dens of vice and criminals hang out. You see, I've joined the Hogan gang. I'm a, I'm a hired assassin. I carry a Tommy gun in my violin case. I, I run a string of cat houses across the valley. You see, they call me Killer. Killer Wingfield. You see, I'm leading a double life, really. A simple, honest warehouse worker by day. But by night, the dynamic star of the underworld, mother. You see, I go to gambling casinos. I, I, I spin away <coughs> fortunes, the relay tables. I, I wear a patch on my one eye and a false moustache. Sometimes, sometimes I'll put on little green whispers. And, and on those occasions, on those occasions, they call me LB Albert. I could tell you many things to make you sleepless. You see, my enemies, they, they plan to dynamite this place. They're going to blow us off sky high some night. And I'll be glad, very happy. And you know what? So will you. You'll go up, up, up on a broomstick over Blue Mountain with 17 gentlemen callers, you ugly, battling old witch. <laughs>